What is going on guys, this is Ben here, bringing you another Boom Beach video. Don't mind my hair, I was just wearing a hat, because it's at, well, it's really nice outside, so I went for a walk today, and I wanted to wear a hat, so, and I wore shorts. First time, well, it's the first time it's actually nice weather to wear shorts in a very long time in Wisconsin. It's like 40 degrees today, Fahrenheit that is, so it's really warm for us, because it's been like, in the single digit degrees lately, but I'll take it. Uh, so in today's video, I know I kind of trailed out there, we are going to be taking on freaking Gearheart. Um, I glanced at this before the video, and I didn't really know how I wanted to approach this. Because I really wanted to do a Gearheart video with like a with all Grenadiers, because I haven't done a video with that in a very long time. But I don't see how Grenadiers could even even stand a chance against this base because I don't think they would have enough like damage to chew through the shield, the almost three million health shield, and then I don't know like there's gonna be rockets if they even get up there. So I don't think Grenadiers would be the appropriate strategy to use versus this base at all, um, and I don't think Scorchers or anything or tanks or anything would be because of the Doom cannons and Boom cannons. And then there's the shock blasters, of course. So heavy Zuko is looking to be the strategy to use, but I did, you can see I have a boat of grenadiers on there, simply because I was I wanted to do a grenadier video, so we got to incorporate them somehow. Well, now you guys will know what to see in the future. Uh, so our plan really is just going to be to not even try and take out the shield generators because we'd have to go through so much of the base just to get there. I'm looking for a dive location. There it is. All right. Um. We'll take the shards, and we'll boost some GBE and I think damage. I think those are the only two we're gonna need for now. Power Potter, not the greatest, but that's all right. I still have a lot of fragments and whatnot. If I ever need to reclaim those, but all right, let's get rid of right into it. This is a really really tough base, dude. This gear base is a monster, man. Um, It's gonna be tough because we're gonna need to get rid of these laser beams too, the shock blasters. We're gonna need to get rid of everything. Uh, I don't really know where I want to drop my troops either. If I go left hand side, will these rockets be in play? They will, but not really. Do I want to go over? Well, we have to go like down here somewhere because we don't want to get hit by all the rockets at the same time. Um, we'll go bottom, bottom left here. Just drop these and then drop the other troops. <laughs> I thought I was tapping on those the entire time. We're actually gonna shock those three. The shock blaster, the doom cannon, and the laser. We're gonna get a ton of GBE once my troops actually get up there, so let's we'll keep those shocked. I'm actually gonna barrage away these. Oh, I gotta turn this down. Alright, so now we're gonna keep these shocked. I'm actually gonna shock the other shock blaster as well. We're hashtag shock and shocks, you know. All right, the laser beams are what's gonna scare me. Cause they're gonna destroy, destroy my Zookas, man. And my heavies really aren't even like tanking some of the damage like they should be. I really need to. Okay, well that sucks. Cause you can see all my heavies are down here. And all my troops are wide open over there. So it wasn't our a Valiant first attack with the way our heavies went. I probably should have repositioned a little bit. Um, I'm actually going to boost up here. My Grenadiers are still going ham. Uh, third on Critters. I could throw on a medkit, but I really just want to get this Shock Blaster destroyed. Hopefully my Zookas can take it up. There we go. Okay. No, we have left are some grenadiers. They're going ham. They're gonna be the MVPs of this video, man. I'm telling ya. We healed them up to full health. They're going for the laser beams. Uh, I don't, I, I don't, I don't really think they'll be able to do much here. They'll just get some much needed damage on those, uh, those mortars and everything like that. But we got a lot of things destroyed. Even if we don't win, we still got a lot of gear, gear mo or gear stars and everything like that. So that's good enough. With the only two, I might boost health. I don't know. Mm. Nah, I think we can. I think we can take it. So yeah, how are you guys faring against Gearheart lately? Like the other ones are pretty simple. I think this is this one's a monster, dude. <laughs> 
But I took out some of the rockets. I have a lot more to get weakened still, and these laser beams to worry about. But with all that junk cleared up down there, I'm pretty confident in my ability with my troops to be able to beat them. So I'm actually just going to start off with some barrages here because I don't want to deal with the rockets at this point. And we weakened them quite a bit, which is really good. So those are all destroyed. We really only have one more rocket to worry about. And I just want enough to be able to... So we'll have 8 GBE left if I use this artillery shot. So I'm just going to save it because I want to throw down, be able to throw down two shocks. We're going to hit the boom mine. Ooh, that was, a, that was a bad boom mine. It took out almost two of my heavies and a grenadier. That was bad. So I'm actually going to shock the laser beams just right now. Just so there's no chance that they'll be targeting my Zukos at all. We do not want that. The rest, um... We'll barrage away this rocket because that's one thing we need to do. I'm going to throw my kits over here. These heavies are dropping like... Okay. This is what happened last time. All my heavies on the right hand side were there. And then all the Zukas just got like picked off one by one because there's no heavies to, in front of them. That is what we do not want. I'm actually going to artillery shot this rocket just to get rid of it right now. I'm going to say everyone regroup up over here. Who is all alive. Who is left alive. Take out these uh, machine guns. So then we can have free reign at this HQ. Well, there is shock blasters. Now we're going to reposition here. Be out of range of those shock blasters, hopefully. And throw down the med kits, just because we can. I should have threw down critters, but those probably would have got destroyed anyway. So that was just a waiting game. Uh, nothing can really reach us, but that was a tough attack. I haven't really had to go like full try hard for a gear heart in a very long time. Um, yeah, it is only the second attack, but. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than this, to be honest. Uh, we may beat it down this time. We got a lot of Azukas left. We got the double Grands, man, going ham. Um, I don't know. But yeah, guys, what do you think about... I, I, I think, like, um, in my last video I mentioned this, but what do you guys think about... Well, while we have some time here, while my Azukas are chewing through the shield. Alright, so for, like, video ideas, what do you guys think about the, like, my task force, like, spotlight? Like, uh... Um, I don't know, for an episode, like maybe going over or recapping some of like single players of their task force operations, kind of giving my task force a little bit of a shout out. What do you guys think of those episodes, like the operation stuff, highlighting a person in my task force? Um, then for other episodes, it'd be like the the Boom Beach Noob. Uh, I really enjoy those, so I'm gonna keep that one around. Uh, I think my next video will be a Boom Beach Noob tomorrow. It's just so cool looking back on it to see how different the game style is so boom beach noob so what do you guys think of those ideas and then for other ones the gear heart attacks obviously hammerman i haven't done a hammerman video in a very long time like hammerman bases cool hammerman bases um whenever i just feel like i want to talk to you guys clear my map and stuff so those are like the boom beach stuff for now the video ideas and then along with that i'm gonna be doing like clash royale stuff i've been really getting into clash royale i'm not gonna lie um and it's globally launching in march so let's less than a month away hopefully or it's end of february so hopefully soon i don't even know i don't know the exact date um and it is soft launched on android so you guys will be able to play that soon and i've really been enjoying it so that's why you are seeing that seeing it on my channel um so those are like the video ideas i have if you have anything like else or other than that like other video ideas for boom beach that you like would like me to see do or have any suggestions make sure to leave them in the comments because i'm always open for ideas for that um other than that, I think I think that'll wrap up the video for now. Actually, no, it's not. I wanna I wanna see if I'm OP enough with my GBE to make it up here. I don't think I can. I don't know if I have enough, but we'll try it out and then we'll that that'll be the vid. So boom, whoops, boom. I'll probably fail. Honestly, I don't think I have enough GBE for this. With all the smokes that I'm going to need. So, these two Zookas may make a difference. You never know. 
So, we're gonna try it here. Um, flamethrowers will be out of range. So I don't really need to throw a smoke until I get up in here. Then we'll just go follow the path, follow the path, get next to the shock launcher, and then shock the shock launcher, and it should be GG. But it's gonna be rough to get up there with only 129 GBE. Gonna have to sacrifice throwing some smoke somewhere. There's not really... I don't really need to smoke until I'm like right here. Some of my Zookas will go down. It's for a great cause. I've been having troubles tapping the boats or the landings, guys. So now I don't even know if I can get all my Zookas over here. Oh, I can. Sweet. I'm literally just gonna let them pick away at my Zookas. Cause I need to save on my GBE. Okay. Looking good so far. Okay. Woo! That was close. Alright, so that was a little interesting, a little rough up there. We still got quite a bit of Zookas, I think. We'll throw it on the critters so the Zookas don't get, all get hit, but yeah, we got quite a bit back there, so it's all good. <laughs> that was a little, you saw I got the, the invalid tap location up here where the shock launcher was, so that almost screwed me because if I didn't quickly throw it on a re-smoke there. Probably would have lost all my Zookas, so... Either way... Boom, took it down, so... A little interesting. I had to use all of my GBE to get that win there, but... Yeah, so there we go, we took down Complex. And that is actually destroying the operation. For this week. Oh, for today, I mean. So we got it. Dead end over, once again. Uh, we do have a, I guess, a new feeder task force. There's the, the hashtag 889P9Q8Y. I think they just made that. I don't know if that's Players for Life. I don't think that is, but Players for Life is there as well, where my second account is in. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like you did. And don't forget to subscribe for more Boom Beach videos. Not ready. Hope you guys have a wonderful day night. And you know what? I'm going to upgrade something first. I'm gonna upgrade a residence because everyone makes fun of me for those. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, didn't subscribe for Boomer Should Not Radio. He's a wonder tonight, and I'll see you guys later.